What's up YouTube? Welcome to Cypher Cinema. Today I will be showing you guys how to make quality videos that will actually be accepted by Cypher Cinema. I've been getting a lot of videos with problems in them, major problems actually, uh, where they have the resolution messed up or they have some frame rate issue or any of those things. So right now I'm going to clear it all up for you guys. This tutorial is actually for Adobe After Effects, so if you don't have After Effects, I would go to the link in the description um, where there's a tutorial on Sony Vegas, and if you have any other um, editing program that you use, then just leave it in the comment box and I will try to look for a video that uh, will help you in that editing program. So right now we're waiting for Adobe After Effects to open up so I can show you guys. Um, First, we're going to try fixing the resolution problems that some of you guys are having. So, I'm going to close that. Composition. New composition. I'm going to have to do that. Um, change it to HDV slash HDTV 720, 29.97 frames per second if you have a Dazzle. Now, if you have an HD PVR, you're going to have to change it to one of the 60 frame per second ones. Um, not really sure any of that stuff. You might have to look up a video for HD PVRs. Because I use it as well, so I do not know anything about that. Change the resolution to 1280 pixels by 720 pixels if it's not already like that. Uh, change it to 16 by 9, 29.97 frames per second. Hit OK. And you're going to have this. Now you're going to slide in all your videos here on the left side. You know how it works if you use Adobe After Effects. But anyways, once you're done editing, you're going to go down to Composition, Add to Render Queen, and you're gonna change this to best settings and this to lossless but you're gonna hit lossless right here and you're gonna change this format to quicktime and hold on what is it yeah format options and you're gonna change the video codec uh, change it out of animation because that will make it a really big file size and you're gonna change it to H.264 then you're gonna hit OK and OK on there, and you can name it whatever you like right here, and then you hit render. All right. So I uh, hope this guy this helped you guys, and hopefully I will see be seeing uh, better quality videos from you guys in the future. Thank you, and please send in better quality picture videos.